Okay. But the other part of the question is you asked about like what are some things that people might not know about that cesium. Is, right, right. And so the a cesium one thirty three, I think, is used for an atomic clock. And so what happens is you basically disturb these atoms, they give off a frequency, and you can use that frequency to to measure time. And how and, how are you exciting the atoms? It, that... It's a disturbance, so usually it's like a push. It's you want to get it to vibrate, and so right. it's just you just have to move it a little bit, and that frequency is then mapped out to keep track of time, and it's so. So is it so consistent that yes, it's, consistent. you can easily use it? You can set a clock by it? <laughs> exactly. In fact, the duration of the second is defined by how many cycles of the cesium atom. Okay, so how many vibrations do you get in a second with cesium? It's like nine decimal places. I'm sorry. Oh, so it's that, that's why it's an atomic clock. And that's why it's very precise. Right, because if you got nine decimal places in one second, that's pretty damn we, we accurate. Got you. you want to know how precise this is? Right. For that... Vibration for the vibration that in Kate one the second. chemist tells about mm -hmm. it is nine billion one hundred ninety two million six hundred thirty one thousand seven hundred and seventy cycles of that vibration. So that vibration is the exact, exact definition of a second. Of a second. Yes. There you go. That's yes. cool. And if I can add to that, please, if I may, until that was defined with that precision, the second was a predefined fraction of the year nineteen hundred. Okay. 